Red Alliance also with the advantage in this series. Blue Alliance will try to force a second tiebreaker match. 1540, the Flaming Chickens put a hash panel on the cargo ship. Two pair come from their Alliance partners as well. Shockwave, which for it also, Chaos Series falls to the ground. And as the sandstorm clears, it looks like the Blue Alliance with the early advantage, but not all sandstorm activities may be accounted for yet. Two minutes remaining on the clock. Chaos, Felix, Chaos Theory and Aimbot back to their old defensive ways as it's the squirrels getting pushed around by 64-43 and the chickens being pushed by 54-68. Everybody trying to get around the defensive effort of their opposing alliances. A little pirouette from 1540 and the flaming chickens back to pick up a new game piece. Blue Lions showing an eight point lead at the moment. Now 1540 trying to place a second hash panel on the rocket. They've done so. 54 68 motionless here on the blue side of the field. Not seeing a connection problem. And now they spring back to life and pick up right where they left off, giving 1540 everything they can handle. Blue Alliance captains, the Clover Balls, place a hash panel of their own and help the Blue Alliance cling to their lead. 38 to 36 it is now. Meanwhile, it's the Squirrels and Shockwave working together on the red side of the field. Shockwave drops a uh, cargo into the red rocket, but it falls to the floor, displacing the hatch panel. Those two points come off the board, and 4488 will have to try again with a minute still to play. 29-30 tries to work around 64-43. Now they hit back to their detail to pick up more cargo, and Aimbot comes through, trying to keep them from anywhere they can. 4488 managing to place another hash panel and cargo. 3674 now being hassled by Chaos Theory as the Flaming Chickens are without a game piece, looking somewhat lost here on the blue side of the field. Red Alliance has taken the lead now. Now Blue takes it back, just two points, now five points. And with 30 seconds to play, Aimbot goes into their armadillo flip. Chaos Theory stuck on the blue side of the field, trying to make sure they're not in the wrong place at the wrong time. Clovermouth put more cargo in the rocket. Now 54-68 trying to get in their way. And on their way past, it looks like Cloverbots have de-scored their own rocket pieces. 44-88 comes up to level three on the hand. Here come the chickens, five seconds. Is that enough? Three, two, one! Unclear from where I sit if 15-40 was able to get their stilts off the ground. Our referees wanted once again to take a close look and make sure they've got everything right, so we'll figure that out and let you know what happened in just a few moments. Scores confirmed in quarterfinal match number eight. The Red Alliance and victory would send them to the semifinals. Blue Alliance looking to force a tiebreaker. And with all the final points added up, victory in this match to the Red Alliance. Our number three seed moves on by a score of 76 to 66. And that means we are once again saying goodbye to a fantastic alliance. Please join me in congratulating Team 3674, the Cloverbots, and the other members of their alliance, Team 1540, the Flaming Chickens, and Team 6443, Aimbot, for their outstanding.